This is called the J2 engine. And this was the other great breakthrough of the Apollo program, which was to use hydrogen as a rocket propellant. No one had ever done that before. If you could do it, the benefit was tremendous fuel efficiency. The downside was you were starting from square one. It's highly explosive, it's highly explosive and it's super cold and it's challenging all kinds of materials that uh, are fine dealing with kerosene. You take 400 degrees below zero, they don't have a prayer. So they had to come with all kinds of new materials, new seals, new gaskets, new piping, new, everything was new to build the J-2 rocket. There was a part of Kennedy's speech I've always loved where he says, we will use new metal alloys some of which have not yet been invented, capable of standing heat and stresses, several times more than have ever been experienced, fitted together with a precision better than the finest watch, carrying all the equipment needed for propulsion, guidance, control, communications, food, and survival, and then return it safely to Earth, re-entering the atmosphere at speeds of over 25,000 miles per hour, causing heat about half that on the temperature of the sun, almost as hot as it is here today, and do all this and do it right, and do it first before this dictator's out, then we must be bold. <laughs>